Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Steve. And we're Hooked on Cruising. Today we wanted to talk about back-to-backs. And right. we're not talking back-to-back. -back. We're talking on a cruise ship. What exactly is that? Um, I think it was probably several years ago we heard somebody talking about a back-to-back -back on a cruise that they were doing one. And I'm like, well, what is that? So what it is is you're basically booking two cruises in a row. So you, you instead of just do, booking the one, you book the second one. And, and the normal strategy for most of the cruise ships is they will pull, pull into port, drop everybody off, clean up the ship real quick, get everybody back on again, and take off the same day. So they, there's no long layovers in between things, a couple of hours right. maybe in between one getting emptied and the next one getting started. Yeah. So we have done a couple of back-to-backs during COVID. Um, where what, and we've got actually a cruise coming up next month that's a back-to-back. And we're wondering if it's going to be a little bit different. But what happened on our other backs-to-backs was all the people that were staying on the ship and doing another week, we all met in one of the dining rooms. Uh, customs came on board, took a look at our passport. We got our new room keys. And then we were off. We were, they had some mimosas and took some pictures. And then we were able to go ahead and wait for the next group to get on the ship. So it was kind of nice having basically the ship to yourself for a couple hours. You're, you're pretty much the, uh, other than the, the, the crew and staff, obviously, you're, you're the only people on yeah, the ship. So, so nice. you'll never see it that uncrowded again. Yeah. So basically, you just, um, you know, you stay on the ship and you do another week. So or five days or whatever it is. So what we think is going to happen, which is this is the way it used to be before COVID, was all the back-to-back -back people would meet somewhere. You would get a letter in your uh, cabin, and you would go and meet in this designated area. They would take you, and you would get off the ship with the group. You'd go to customs. They'd look at your passport. You'd get your new uh, room keys, and then back on the ship you go. I think they said the process was probably, you know, 30 minutes by the time you walk down there and you walk back on. So it's not long at all, um, and it's quite nice. But the one thing you want to do, um, like we've mentioned before, we're, we're Carnival uh, cruisers, so I'm sure the other uh, cruise lines are similar, but if you're on a different cruise line with that, that other than Carnival, then I would give them a call. But just make sure you're in the same room. So you want to be dealing with an actual person if you do a back-to-back. -back. You don't want to kind of, I like booking stuff online myself. Sometimes I call our vacation planner. Sometimes I call Carnival directly. Um, so it just depends on what I'm looking at and how soon I'm cruising out. So I would recommend talking to a person because they can make sure if you're looking for this deck and this room, is it available on the following week, on the following cruise? So sometimes if it's not and you want to be in a certain room or if the ship's almost sold out, you might have to change rooms, which that kind of a little bit painful. The, the room steward will help you move your luggage to your new room. We've been lucky the last couple that we've both, done. Yeah, both the back back. Just stay done. in a room. You don't have to leave. You don't have to, don't pack, have up. to pack up the luggage. You don't have to do anything. So it's quite nice. So just make sure. Give give. Give whomever you're dealing with a call to make sure you get the same room and they link the cruises. So, And then we've gotten on board and gone to guest services and just made sure that they know we're on for the next cruise, that they're not looking for us to get off or something. So they right. we haven't had any problems with that either. They've got all the information, but we just like to double check. So that's probably about it, unless you have something else to add. I can't think of anything at the yeah, moment. So I think back to backs are fun. If you can do it sometime, I would highly recommend it. So, yeah, extended vacation. Extended vacation. And especially if you have to fly in, you want to, you know, it's expensive to fly all your time and everything. So getting another week or five days or four days, whatever it is on, on the ship, it's quite nice. And then you fly home after that. It feels like a real nice long vacation. So Yeah, I mean, the last one we were on was a five-day follow by a four-day. Yeah. Everything so, worked out great. Exactly. So. We've done two five-days also, and the one we're doing uh, February is two seven days. So we're really looking forward to that one. So should be a blast. Anyway, yeah. But I think that's it for now. So we'll let you go. And if you like this video, please like it. And we would love you to subscribe to our channel. 
to All Things Cruising. Uh, you'll get notified whenever we post another video. And we just want to keep you guys up to date on everything that we can think of so that you can get hooked on cruising too. So I think we are over and out. I'll do so it. So we will see, see you, you later. later.